once upon a time, there lived a pig. One day, he stood looking over the bars of his fence. He narrowed his eyes and he looked across to the far, far hills. I can't stay here any longer, he said. Soon I will be turned into bacon. I must get out of here. There's a wide, wide world out there. And believe it or not, he took aim and leapt over the bars of his pen with his tail in the air. He landed in a heap. Oink, oink, oink. And he jumped up to go on his way. Hello there, pig. Where are you off to? said sheep in the pasture. I'm tired of living on husks and swills. I'm off to build a house in the far, far hills. Take me along, take me along, said sheep trotting up. Well, what could you do to help? I could drag all the posts you'll need to build your house. All right, said Pig, you're just the one for the job. Just then, Goose in the dam called to them. Hello there, you two. Where are you off to? I'm tired of living on husks and swills. We're off to build a house in the far, far hills. Take me along, take me along, said Goose waddling up. What could you do to help? I could gather leaves and moss and cobwebs and fill the holes in, in between the posts so that the rain would not get in. All right, said Pig, you are just the one for the job. Next, they met Rabbit on the road. Hello, you three. Where are you off to? I'm tired of living on husks and swills. We're off to build a house in the far, far hills. Take me along, take me along, said Rabbit, thumping his hind legs on the ground. Well, what could you do to help? I could dig the holes for the posts and put the house together. Sharp, sharp, wall by wall, big and small, Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, said pig and sheep and goose. Excellent, you're just the one for the job. As they went along, they came to a bend in the road and there they came across Rooster. Hello, you four. Where are you off to? I'm tired of living on husks and swills. We're off to build a house in the far, far hills. Take me along, take me along, said Rooster, ruffling his feathers excitedly. What could you do to help? I could be your alarm clock. I'll wake you every morning with my crowing. Never too early, never too late, always on time. Well, pig and sheep and goose and rabbit thought about it for a little while. And then they said, all right, you're just the one for the job. So when they came to the far, far hills, Pig went into the forest to look for wood. And sheep came 
and dragged the posts into a pile. And Rabbit came and dug holes for the posts. And he put the house together. And then Goose came and gathered leaves and moss and cobwebs to fill the gaps so that the rain would not get in. And then they all moved inside. What a cosy little house it was at the foot of the far, far hills beneath a rustling oak tree and a babbling brook nearby. And they called it Our Little Paradise. And every morning, Rooster fluttered up onto the roof to wake Goose and Rabbit and Sheep and Pig with, the, with his crowing, never too early, never too late, always on time. And as far as I know, they're still living there very happily. Listen to my story, 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 that is the end of my story.